All right, show me an all-time high, and I'll show you a buy. Man, oh my God, take a look at that. Bitcoin has broken out to an all-time high. It's over, almost over $60,000 on the uh, on uh, most exchanges right uh this is just the the, uh, the blx ex index right oh my goodness look at that it's beautiful it's a beautiful site it's a beautiful thing right we're going to be talking about that and more of course ethereum as well and ethereum is very important right it's i think it's a number two coin for the ages right uh along with bitcoin is the, the solid money and ethereum is the smart contracts uh, programmable money so yeah it's going to be a great future right a little bit dark at first but but that that was all caused by fiat system have an unfair system but the future after that after that darkness comes bright light and we're going to talk about that as well and how you know what why you should be buying bitcoin right now right now before all the rest of the billionaires are Cause they're doing it they're doing it i'm going to show that to you right i know my name is da vinci jeremy right I, i'm right i'm driving this bus solo and uh, man you know what uh you know people want to trade people want to make money on this in this market but please be careful out there right make sure you learn how to trade first right because it's not for everybody and it can be very emotionally taxing but if you do want to trade this you can do so at buybit.davinciej15.com but before you put any money in the market, make sure you do your own research because this is not uh, financial advice and it's only um, trading entertainment. All right, so let's get on with that entertainment, shall we? <laughs> okay, well, as you know, right, I'm sure you, all of you have woken up to all the craziness on Twitter and everywhere else. Bitcoin has broken up, broken higher. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So you're like, oh, what? Oh, I'm sitting on the sidelines. What do I do now? I'm, I'm going I'm to help you with that. You see, there's a, a button when you go to an exchange and it says buy. Maybe you should press that. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. So you might want to think about it first. And then maybe you'll come to conclusion that maybe you should hit that button. But think about that first. <laughs> All righty uh pretty much right even though yeah you know what honestly you have to don't don't go too he heavy on any kind of leverage right if you do go to a leverage exchange as you can see as we go down to the lower time frames right there's a clear w-ish pattern right it, and then it broke out and you can see the results of that breakout now um i'm pretty sure that this has probably already played out looks like it to me but maybe i'm, I'm maybe I'm, I'm i might be seeing things let's just see here so that was the approximately there was a breakout um right here and then we came back down here so let's just see if it's got a little bit more legs yeah yeah, yeah. the one to one is right about here so it looks like it did complete its um cycle here so let's just see this was the that's the breakout yeah that, there you go it did complete it that trade right so that trade is complete so um all you can do right now is either set your buy orders down if you want to like you know play from a position of strength right like i always say right play from a position of strength um and you want to do that right the way that the best way to do that is to buy at the the um the breakout level because more often than not price action likes to come back to the breakout level so round around you could say okay well the breakout level was down here but i would say you know what this because this this was the last um last high right where you pro pro probably want to felt like oh my god it's going and then it and then it dumped back at you and you're like oh my god maybe you, maybe you took uh maybe you took a loss right on that one right um because it was clear that you know there was lots of like uh Wing patterns here and it didn't quite play out right some of these Wing patterns so so what, what do you want to do right uh you want to be a little bit more cautious this time around so you wait for you know an entry somewhere around here maybe a little bit higher um than the uh, fifty-eight thousand dollar uh mark maybe like uh the fifty-eight four hundred 
ish area and then and then let it ride all the way up so because this thing could come back at you it, we could see that our, we're way above the 13 ma on the hourly um so it could always come back just to touch it and then go so so that's an option always as as an option another option of course is to go down to the five minute and you know look for those uh nice little cheeky w's right which show up every once in a while but again those things those cheeky w's are only going to take you so far right uh, as you can see this little cheeky w right here is coming in and it could only go like what you know it's only going to take you right approximately right and i don't even see i don't i don't see this thing even breaking to all-time high so i'd say right close to it and then then jumping back down so um yeah, you be careful out there, right? With taking W's, make sure that you only you get that one to one from the from the breakout level, right? Don't get too greedy, um, because the market will will punish you for that, right? Will will punish you for uh, being too greedy, right? You know, because there's a saying, right, in the market, right? When you when you're trading, right? Uh, bulls make money, bears make money. And pigs, well, unfortunately, they get slaughtered, right? So yeah, this is an all-time high, which is well, it won't be surprising, right? Um, and then it rolls, it could roll back on you, right? So, um, and then you would obviously just you want to like you know set it so that your stop loss is only two to one, and so it gives you a two to one, so your stop loss is like halfway. So you go right, boop, 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 boop. oh, yeah, there we go. Can't get it because there's not enough. There we go. This is like very low risk trade. And then when you're dealing with a low risk trade, right? High leverage is okay. So most people think, oh, never use 100X leverage or 50X leverage, just, just irresponsible. Well, actually in this trade is actually where, where you will probably use high leverage because the percentage amount that you're going to lose is so low that in order to um, make a bet where you're going to actually lose only less than 5%, maybe 1% or 2% or, right? Or 3%, right? Um, uh, you have to bet an extremely large amount more than you possibly have in order to lose that possible small amount, right? So that's why you need those high leverage trades in that particular trade, this one that I'm talking about, that should it play out, okay? So now you understand, right? Even though people will say, oh my God, these crazy leverage exchanges, they just want to take people's money, right? With these high leverage rates so that they, they take these high leverage risks when they shouldn't be doing it. No, no, no. High leverage trading, right? Is if you're a professional, right? There is a reason for high leverage. All right, with that said, uh, let's, uh, before I get on to Ethereum, right? I want to talk about uh, my channel, right? Um, if you ever want to uh, get a hold of me, right, or, or you know, there's lots of information here, but if, first off, if you want to get a hold of me, right, if you just go to the comment section here, I mean, not comment section, but the, the description, right, you can find, you know, my uh, my email address to get a hold of uh, and leave a message or something like that, or if you want something, right, or if you want a job or and you want to apply to a job and you want to help out my channel, that'd be great. So you just, you know, send the message here, right? Um, you could see that there's all kinds of different uh, locations where, where we have, at, I have, I'm on library, I'm on BitChute, right? Please subscribe to those because you know what? Honestly, the banking system, think about this. Think about this. Money is 50% of all transactions and banks get to create it for free. Do you think they're going to want Bitcoin to stop that from, ha stop that from happening? Stop them from having the ability to print money? Of course not. And so they're going to lash out. They're going to lash out at all crypto people. They're going to lash out badly against anyone who's old in crypto. It's going to happen, right? They're not going to go, oh, well, guess we lost that one. <laughs> right? They're going to do something, right? And it's going to be bad for all of us, right? So you have to be prepared for that. So being prepared, part of being prepared is that, you know what? subscribing to all of my different uh, uh, channels, right? Try to subscribe to my, my, I only have 150 subscribers. Head over there, subscribe. Even if you don't go to BitChute, right? Um, 
just you know open up an account register account it takes you probably five minutes less than that and then you know subscribe to the dj15 uh, 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 as well oh, i'm on facebook look for da vinci jeremy right um if you remember how to spell my name right and just ask become a friend of mine um, i've opened up my facebook because i've lost my uh what's it called my uh my instagram so head over there right and uh be also um i'm i'm also on linkedin i'm, I'm also um uh you know on twitter right you can follow me thank you everyone for uh I, now i have 100k followers and really thank you everyone for following me so follow me on twitter if you have not done so already so you know if, you, if i disappear off the map you can find me on one of these different uh, social medias uh, that that are out there, but probably it's going to have to be a decentralized social media since you know, you know how they since the bankers have a lot of money and they can go. Listen, you're you're going to get rid of these people, and here's a few billion dollars. Take care of it, right? They they can do that. <laughs> right? So so uh, yeah, don't uh, don't don't let them, don't let them brew, tell you who they can listen, who you can listen to, and who you can't listen to. Uh, because they will do that all right so right before we go on to the theorem one more time before uh, there's lots of celebrations here on, on, on the internet of course it's, it's pretty cool every, every, uh, i love all these memes and stuff like that and but this this statement from michael saylor right um all right basically it came from Ayn Rand, right you can avoid reality but you can't avoid the consequences of avoiding reality right and everyone who who hates on Bitcoin is denying reality and math. They will not avoid the consequences of that action. That is so true, so so true. I um, I want you to head over there and hit that a like, give that a like, because that's that's what's coming for most of these people, man. They're most of these haters, right? They're going to. There's nothing. There's no stopping the power of Bitcoin. There's no stopping it. This this is an idea as big as the printing press the the gutenberg press um and the you know what the church and the governments they tried to stop it that's why we don't have books today oh wait a second that's right we do <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that that you know this is coming this is this is an unstoppable force uh, of un unparalleled level because now you have, you see, when you when you see things, when you like this glasses, this, this this phone, you think about, oh my God, man, the, the Apple, right, that made this phone, right? They're making a lot, they're making a killing, man. They're doing so well. You think of another product that's doing well, right? You, you think about Tesla. Oh my God, man, look at that Tesla. They make these great cars, doing well, man. I would like to be Tesla, but wait a second. There's another product, right, that you always you seem to neglect. That's great. It's called money. It is a product. It is not. It's not any different from your cell phone as a product. Is the cell phone's a product? Your computer's a product? The glasses are a product? And this is a product. Not a very good one. <laughs> but it is a product. And so... Uh, but this product here, this one right here, is the best product of money, right? And everybody's starting to realize that, and you need to be, you need to get it, you need to get get in, get in, and understand that as well. All right, let's head over to uh, another product that uh, because there's, of course, you know what? Um, um, there's no such thing as one particular mousetrap, right? No. Nope. You, you, we've already invented a mousetrap, right? But now, you, uh, if you Google mousetrap, you'll find many, many different types, right? And same, same with money. You'll find many, many types, and uh, and we'll have, we'll continue to do so, right, for the rest of the time, right? And well, everybody will choose the best uh, mousetrap for their particular occasion. All right, enough of that. Enough of that uh, philosophy. Let's go on to the TA. All right, so as you can see, um, we have clearly created uh, another W, right? I mean, it's it's not the greatest of Ws, but it's good enough, right? And you know, there's the breakout level right here, right? And so it's got a lot of room to, to grow. So again, 
maybe, just maybe, I'm not, I'm not saying you should, I'm not saying you should, but maybe you should just, you know, there's a, a button somewhere on, on the exchanges, it's called buy, maybe you should click it when you, after you put down a, a, you know, a decent amount, not too much leverage, don't bet the whole farm, maybe 5% is the maximum you're going to lose, right, something like that. <laughs> Right, it's already came back to to the breakout level, so I don't see it doing it again um, in the short term. So, so I think you should definitely get a little bit of an entry here uh, because we've already broken this level. Now, unfortunately, I've seen more often than not um, when uh, Ethereum uh, breaks higher, um, it tends to, you know. Go, trick people and, and and even though it should be going higher it kind of tends to do this something like that so don't be surprised if that happens just be prepared for it either uh you know put a little bit here and then wait for it like you know put something that you could sleep night well at night um half and then then to go half half of that and then put the other half down here right um, so that you can go, okay, well, if it comes back, I, you know, I have some, some dry powder to put in and you know what, it's still less than the 5% rule. So good, to, good to go. And then you, you'll, you'll feel, you'll feel a little bit better, right? And then you can add to your trade and then, you know, your, your stop loss or your liquidation price is a lot lower. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry about that. I have to be honest. I have to be honest here, guys. I really thought we would at least come back down to this trend line. Um, but shocking as it may it looks like we are breaking higher um before we do that uh the same thing with the uh, bitcoin i mean i was thinking uh, there was a trend line um let's see if i have it on here it's like the five minute that's why yeah there was a trend line way down here and um i thought we'd come back to to look at it at least but nope way right down here this one right here the lot not the, the upper one and uh, let me just let me put, change the color so that you guys can see that. And I'm gonna change this one to green as the breakout level. Let's take this green. So yeah, the, not the green one, but the red one. I thought we were gonna come back to that and nope, we we're just bouncing around in the green one and off we went. Clear shot, shot moon shot, we're headed right again. Maybe. Maybe I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying you absolutely should. Right? There's no absolutes in this world, right? But might be a good idea. Might <laughs> to hit the buy button, Jay. Right? Just might be a good idea to hit the buy button. Okay. Alrighty. So with that said, uh, why would you hit the buy button? Who says the Bitcoin and Ethereum is going to go higher? Well, the CEO of Goldman Sachs says. Client demand for Bitcoin is rising as the cryptocurrency flirts with record highs, right? And you know this guy, these guys have done a 180, right? I mean, uh, they were like completely like just just February, they were like, man, I, nobody's nobody's really interested in this nonsense <laughs> of this year. Nobody was interested. All of a sudden, people are interested. Uh, that that that's clearly a lie, but. But maybe, maybe, maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. And Michael Saylor ma happened to, to convince them in the beginning of February, right? Um, because uh, he did, you know, have a, a, a meeting, a large meeting that expanded to a lot of people to explain how to put uh, Bitcoin and, on their balance sheet. And if you know how to put Bitcoin on your balance sheet, you know how to put Ethereum on your balance sheet. And since Ethereum is number two, not a surprise. And, to, and you can see the growth Look at this growth, man. We're almost at two trillion market cap. Uh, this whole industry, right? I mean, I, it's just five years ago to say that we're gonna go to two trillion was uh, was a ridiculous statement, right? And yet we're here. We're we're almost here, actually. We're almost here. And uh, yeah, I'm, and, and I think we're going a lot higher. Look at this, man. Twenty five percent in seven days 22 percent for ethereum in seven days look uh, binance coin is up like 23 percent in seven days we are we are on the the liftoff stage right for sure and, and overall on the market and look at this look at this look at this dominance right um 
it's still chopping around, but you know what? It's it will roll over and it, we will see uh, an altcoin season. So don't worry if you're waiting for that. Don't worry, it's coming. I'm I'm noticing that I'm getting doubles everywhere. So um, you can see that even on my Twitter. And let me just let me bring up the last two doubles here. I just made some money, like a lot of money here. So it's happening. You need to. You, and I, I I beg you guys to be a part of what's what's going on in this world. You can see here on the Bitcoin treasuries. Look at this. Look at this. We add up all the Bitcoins, right? Um, that all the the industry players have. We're talking on one point, almost 1.4 million Bitcoins, right? That, that equates to um, wow. To, in today's value, 81 billion. Yeah, 81 billion dollars. This does not include private companies, right? My company owns Bitcoin on their balance sheet, right? Um, does yours, right? Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have companies, and I'm sure you didn't have report that. You don't have to report that to um, you know to the world, right? Uh, you only have to report that maybe to the government under your jurisdiction. But other than that, right? Nobody knows. So you can you can imagine the amount of Fortune 500 companies that are private out there right that are now saying yeah i think maybe we should have some bitcoin on our balance sheet and they're going to do so and they're doing so right now so make sure that you get ahead of them by putting dollar cost averaging maybe you don't have to trade you don't have to to, to be a trader you don't have to go over to to buy to, to buy bit dot da vinci j 15.com you don't have to go over to femex dot da vinci j 15.com you could just buy and hold and just watch this watch the, the technical analysis have fun with it see where it's going it's pretty cool right just watching this uh this entertaining entertaining sport of ta right <laughs> and nothing else right so, and, and I encourage it, right? Because it's, uh, I, I mean, I did it for a while too, right? And it's lots of, lots of fun, right? It's lots of fun to be here and I'm glad to be here. So anyways, uh, I'm going to be ending the show, right? Thank you all for watching, right? I'm going to be uh, doing question and answers. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave them um, in the comment section. And if you are like missing this live show, you need to stop missing it by purchasing, heading over to to www.davincij15.com and subscribing. It's on sale right now for 50% off and you can subscribe and you get Pandora's wallet for free. So do that right now or you can also um, you know, purchase the DJ15 token as well uh, and you only have to buy 0 0.05 of the DJ15 tokens now. I will I, I have a little bit of announcement um, we were discussing with the developers. I think we're going to pass on build. We started building the website and we had it ready. And then we noticed that the fees were just too high to uh, sell the DJ 15 token. And because I didn't want to sell the token for actual cash uh, because of all the different chargebacks and problems I have with, with, uh, with uh, payment processors. I decided to leave it because it was not worth it. Um, uh, so um, yeah, you're just gonna have to purchase it on Uniswap. Maybe we'll probably uh, maybe we'll allow it to go on to an exchange and make that that will make that easier for you because that's that's always a possibility. Or we might create our own exchange. We haven't decided just yet. Um, yeah, so um, sorry about that. Only Uniswap. But if you want to watch this thing for free, you can do so by heading over to um, Twitch and uh, joining us there there's about 2500 subscribers i mean followers on twitch right now Alrighty. so with that said i i think i think once uh, once again i'd like to thank everybody for watching and remember to check out the the buy bit uh video that's popping up somewhere here after this cheers people